Next question, question 11. How many distinct 8 digit numbers can be found by rearranging the digits of the number 11223344 such that odd digits occupy odd positions and even digits occupy even positions? So this is another question that uses the concept of permutation a lot. If you are unfamiliar with the concept of permutation, this question will be difficult. I advise or I suggest you to check uh, check out uh, the video on permutation and combination I have done in my playlist. So, uh, if you are new to this concept, if you are new, if you are not aware of all the formulas that permutation and combination have, you can check that out. And um, I have discussed it in detail, enough uh, uh, discussed it uh, in an enough manner to solve all the questions that appears in the C set. So you can check that out uh, in case if you are not familiar with the concept of permutation and combination. So here uh, we have eight digit numbers. So and it is uh, said the odd digits occupy odd position and even digits occupy even position. So there are as you can see uh, two uh, odd digits one one three three and two uh, two unique. Uh, so these are the two two four four these are the odd digits and these are the even digits and we have eight positions right one two three four five six seven eight so in these eight positions odd digits can occupy only at the odd positions so effectively we have only four position to arrange odd digits and we have only four positions to arrange even digits also so but there is a repetition also so uh, we have four four odd digits and four positions and two digits are repeating also so we are going to use the concept the special case of permutation uh, with repetition uh, so we have four positions sorry we have four positions first we will arrange the odd digits and then arrange the even digits as a second step so first arranging arranging or odd, odd digits we'll call this job one Arranging, arranging odd digits. We have four positions and uh, four digits where two digits are repeating. So the uh, formula for that is four factorial since we have four positions. But since two digits are, if four were unique, if four digits were unique or digits, then the total number of ways we can arrange four digits in four places will be four factorial. But since two digits are repeating, we have to uh, multiply with, uh, first we'll take the first digit and see how many uh, numbers, how many times it is repeating. So it is repeating two times. So we'll have to divide it with two factorial. And we'll take the next digit and see how many times it is repeating. If it was repeating three times, we will use 3 factorial here but since it is it is also repeating 2 times we will divide it with 2 factorial so answer will be 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and 2 factorial is 2 into 1 which is 2 into 2 so just 4 cancels and the answer is 6 so we have 6 as our answer um, if you are not familiar with this equation if you are not familiar with factorial or this equation uh, please go and see the video I have done on permutation and combination and it will be clear I hope so okay and now our next J2 is arranging even digits arranging even digits since even, even arranging even digits is also same uh, we have four digits we have four places to arrange and two digits is repeating and two digits is repeating two times exactly like the first case so it will be same formula and our answer will be 6. Now J1 and J2, uh, we can use the principle of uh, multi uh, multiplication here. So total total ways we can do this will be 6 into 6, which is 36. So this is our answer. So we, in case why this multiplication, uh, the total ways we can do J1 and J2 in succession will be 6 into 6. So why this is? Uh, if you are not understanding that also, just go and visit that video. You will uh, 
get a better idea on how we got 36 as our answer. So this is the solution. 36 is the solution. Um, solution to question 11 is C, 36.